Hi, this is Rob with Market Traders Journal. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I wanted to go over trading with the ultimate tick bars in a way, a way that you can analyze these bars and look at these bars and see what type of order flow is occurring in the marketplace. There's only one type of a bar that can do this and it is ultimate tick bars. Let's go ahead and take a look. First off, our disclaimer, past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. There is a risk of loss trading futures. And let's go to our chart. Uh, I have a Russell uh, chart up here. I had mentioned in the marketing materials for the ultimate tick bars that the bars, uh, when they trend, will tend to show a couple of uh, large bars or so and then you will get smaller bars so you see this pattern uh, over and over again conversely if you see large bars uh, that uh, increasingly larger bars that may be indicative of the end of a trend but typically the type of a pattern that I want to talk about today is the one where you see um, a uh, decline in the uh, height of the bar or the range of the bar. I prefer the close uh, open relationship instead of the entire bar uh, following a trend in the opposite direction. So what you're really seeing here um, when you come down to this low and then you get uh, a big bar and then a smaller bar and a bigger bar and then you get this neutral bar kind of inside this range and then you get a big bar, a smaller bar, and a smaller bar. When you see this type of a pattern, it tells you that the market is trending. And I'm going to tell you why this is happening. And I'm also going to point out that you will never see this on any other type of a bar. And the reason for this is, is because this bar is telling you exactly what's happening with the order flow. What's happening right here is short covering. Traders who had gone short down in here and down in here are covering here. And this is why we're getting a large bar here. I could get into the technical details and the math of why that is likely the case. Of course, we can't say for sure that that's what it is. Uh, but uh, you see the pattern over and over and over again. Uh, you see the pattern again up in here. And uh, so what happens is you get short covering right here, and then what you get is new money coming in. Now, you can't have a sustained trend without new money. There's no such thing as a sustained trend that's based on short covering or long liquidation. So the first thing that you want to see in the pattern is you want to see long liquidation, which you uh, will see right in here, long liquidation, and then new money short coming in. Now you've got the new money short coming in and then they find themselves trapped. And so you get uh, short covering through here and then you get new money coming in as the bars get smaller and then you get a nice trend going up. Here you'll notice that you get larger bars going down, and that clues us into the fact, because you have progressively larger bars coming down uh, from a high, and that clues us into the fact that this is really not sustainable, and um, there is some long liquidation going on in here with the markets confused. And so I don't expect to see a trend when I see this type of a pattern. Now here I got a larger bar, which would indicate long liquidation. Of course, these traders are scared because they haven't really gotten the run that they expected, the ones that got long in here. So I get long liquidation, possibly a little bit of new money coming in. Uh, they get trapped in here, and then I get, uh, excuse me, I get uh, a short covering, and then new money coming in up in here and then you'll notice that you get caught in another really nice trend here. And so uh, this type of pattern uh, goes on all the time. Now up in here I got some small bars and then I got a bigger bar here and uh, then I got some uh, clustering. And so another thing that we talked about in the marketing materials for ultimate tick bars was the rate at which the bars are occurring. And so when you start to see the market taking a long time you can see this is uh, six or uh, eight minutes uh, in here that the market hasn't moved anywhere. Whereas over in here, you, this entire run right here happened. And this is the kind of run that you want to get caught in. This entire run right here, 
only lasted about five minutes from down here all the way up into here. From the time that you would have gotten into the trade, let's go ahead and put on the cross here, here so we can see, uh, this trade, this entire run here from this point right here, where we got the smaller uh, bar here, uh, only lasted about three minutes and 20 seconds. And so these are the types of moves that you want to get caught in. Uh, let's go over and take a look at crude oil and so you can see that this pattern occurs over and over again and it doesn't matter what the market is. Again we see over in here and um, I point this one out because I was right there while this was happening. Uh, we get the uh, short covering bar, another uh, bar that's a little bit smaller, and then we get the new money bar and uh, and then you go higher from here. This uh, move right here uh, is corresponding to uh, for some reason I'm picking up okay this uh, is corresponding to uh, almost a, about a, a two point two hundred dollar move right here uh, following this type of a move. Now you see the pattern again or you expect to see the pattern again over in here you get a large bar and a small one and then you get a, a bigger one it's not until uh, down in here that you start getting smaller bars and even then it's questionable. Now what happened right it over in here was there was a the a crude inventory report and so we got some um, we got some uh, crazy movement following that. Let's go over uh, earlier in the um, session. This starts at around uh, 6 o'clock my time and so what we got here was we got uh, just coming right into the open of crude oil uh, we got uh, three bars here that were about equal size and then we got this pattern the short covering bar and then the new money uh, coming in here this pattern was a little bit more confused and then we saw the pattern again coming right in here we got a large bar two small ones and then you got a nice run and you got the large bar here, the long liquidation bar, new money coming in. You might have even waited down into here where you got smaller, 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 and then you got the run. The idea is once you uh, make a decision to get in following seeing uh, such a pattern as the ones I'm describing here, is you manage the position from there. Um, I prefer these markets uh, such as crude oil or the Russell over a market like the ES, uh, we could go over and look at uh, the ES, but the ES is uh, much more, because it's the big cap and because it's very high volume, uh, it's a little bit harder to trade in this respect, but you will still see these sorts of patterns in the ES, but I would prefer, this is probably going to crash things here, I'll go over and uh, put this up to about 1100 and let's just go uh, take a quick look and see what we can find uh, in this particular market. Um, you have the market coming down into here. You see the short covering bar here and then you get the smaller one here. Generally it's not going to be as clear this type of patterning in the uh, ES. Uh, here we got the long liquidation bar and we got uh, smaller bars coming down into here and uh, this could have been a trap for us using this type of a strategy and uh, wouldn't have uh, been a hugely horrible trap to get caught in. Uh, then we get the uh, the uh, short covering uh, bar right here and then the smaller bars up in here and you get uh, caught in here. I actually took this trade coming up here uh, trying to go uh, higher in the ES uh, and that's uh, the type of patterning that we see over and over and over again. Uh, this uh, type of patterning, I love this where we get the the tick uh, bar, it's just an even bar for the entire thing and this I call this new money coming in here. Um, but uh, as you had seen in the other markets, the opportunity there uh, because of the size of the runs that you get off of uh, this type of patterning where you can see the uh, what's happening with the order flow, I don't want to go into the night session here, you can see what's happening with the uh, order flow. Let's go over and uh, take a look at gold. Uh, first I want to take this down and uh, bring this back down a little smaller. I haven't 
uh, looked at gold today and then I'm gonna let you go because this video is getting to be about 10 minutes or so and I don't want to uh, uh, get too long for you but we're just doing a little bit of exploration here I uh, don't trade gold myself but we do have some of our customers uh, trading in gold and uh, I'm gonna say this market's got to use a little bit smaller uh, type of a I probably shouldn't have ventured over into this because of the uh, my uh, lack of knowledge with this particular market I've never even set up the uh, uh, UTBs with this type of a market here okay uh, here we get the example you get the short uh, covering big bar and then the smaller bars and you get caught in a run again these guys get trapped short covering smaller bars uh, you come up into the top here and then um, you get the uh, long liquidation bar uh, potential new money coming in but then you get some retracement you don't get the follow-through and then uh, the market kind of drifts here uh, as I said I don't have the experience with this type of a market but I'm just trying to explore a little bit and show you uh, what this uh, patterning looks like in various markets in case you trade different markets so uh, that's what I have for you today ultimate tick bars are only available through markettradersjournal.com uh, I strongly suggest that if you are a short-term trader intraday trader that you have these bars in your charts and you learn to use them. I have an article uh, available on Market Traders Journal uh, off the front page. You can opt in there. It's four amazing uh, setups. Uh, I have a lot of uh, customers telling me they really love these uh, types of setups. And so you have those. And then what I've just shown you is actually being able to see the order flow that is occurring based specifically on patterns on the charts. This is extremely powerful, of course and I uh, suggest that you check them out. The Ultimate Tick Bars have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's really no risk uh, in you trying them. So uh, go over to Market Traders Journal, take a look. Uh, there are any number of videos there on different ways to use the bars as well that could kind of expand your knowledge of how these bars work. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you again on the next one.